It was a great night for a football game. The sky was clear. It was, there was a chill in the air. The stands were full of fans, mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters watching that high school football game in Groveport, Ohio. The Groveport, Ohio football team was at the 50-yard line and they were facing the state defending state champions. And it was the last play of the night. They were three points behind and just enough time for a play. And the quarterback was behind the center, ready for the ball. Nobody really noticed when old John climbed the steps to the top of the bleachers and turned around and sat down. Nobody noticed the old faded gray wool slacks. Nobody noticed that old faded brown coat or the worn mud-covered riding boots or that funny top hat that John had on. Because old John was dead. Old John was a ghost and John had been dead for 200 years. Old John had never missed a football game at Groveport High School. At that moment in time, as he looked out there to the football field, filled with light, stripes, field post, two teams, a stand of fans, he thought for a moment and then his mind just slipped away and he thought about that field before because it was a pasture field 200 years ago. It was filled with horses. It was a horse field on a horse farm. And John remembered being a little boy at 12 years old, facing a colt his father had given him. The colt filled with fear. His dad had said, tame that horse any way you want to, John. And John had all the things you normally use, the whips and the chains and the bits and the bridles and the stirrups, all those things. And he thought for a moment, he'd put them aside and he thought, I'm going to do this a different way. I'm going to use that, a gentle voice, a kind word. I'm going to tame this horse my way and I'm going to take away that fear. That day, John trained that horse and tamed that horse his way. His daughter, his father was amazed. His father was so amazed that he told the neighbors, and who told the neighbors, who told the folks in the community, who brought horses to young John. John didn't hide what he knew. He taught them about taming horses. He taught them about using a kind word and a gentle hand. He taught them that and so he continued out and out and out to become more and more well known. And he traveled to tame horses in different places. He traveled up and down the East Coast. He traveled to the frontier, which was Kansas and Missouri at the time. He traveled up to Toronto to a horse ex exhibition. He traveled there. The horses were the power of the world in 1825. There were no engines. And he traveled to Toronto to that horse exhibition and he was approached by the court, a representative from the court of England, the Queen of England at the time, Victoria. They said, John, we've got some ornery, awful horses over in England. You need to come and show us what your technique is all about because I think that might really help us. And so John took a ship, he took that challenge, he took a ship across the Atlantic to England. He worked in the court in the stables of Queen Victoria. He tamed some really tough horses. And then they said, we've got one horse that you're not going to be able to tame, John, because it's a, a mean horse. It's killed men. It has wounded other men. John said, well, let me give it a try. He walked into a stable by himself, into this barn, and three hours later, that horse walked out behind him. This big horse, 15 hands tall, a dark brown chestnut stallion. 
He walked out and that horse walked right out behind him. Not even a rope. John had tamed that horse too. That horse that day he met was Cruiser. A horse named Cruiser. Queen, uh, Queen Victoria was so impressed she gave Cruiser to John. And John and Cruiser toured England. John showing his taming skills and performing with Cruiser and showing what he was able to do with Cruiser. And Cruiser and he became lifelong partners. They went to Europe and they went to Russia and they went to the Middle East and they performed before kings and queens and czars and sheiks and presidents. And then he went home and took Cruiser home to Ohio to that horse farm, to his house and to the barns and the stables. And they made their home there and they traveled around America to big cities, Chicago and New York and Boston and up and down the East Coast. And again, they performed over and over again, showing the taming techniques that John had and showing Cruiser and what a great big horse that horse was. At that moment though, John, at the age of 39, died tragically of a stroke died tragically and was buried in a family cemetery just up on the hill where he could look down on the pasture where the football field was today. An old cruiser lived for eight more years and then cruiser passed away and was buried in the pasture field. And at that moment, John's attention was brought back to the field as that quarterback took that ball from center and backed away as the, his protection folded around him and he tossed that ball down into the darkness and out of nowhere came a receiver that caught that ball, ran across the goal line, scored the touchdown and won the game. At that moment in time, the stands erupted and John along with them stood up although no one could see John. But they yelled and hollered out, Cruiser, 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 go Cruiser. You see, a, a man or a woman or an animal we love dies twice. They die the, die the first time when they take their last breath. And they die the second time when their story is told for the last time. And 200 years ago, John died of that stroke. And 200 years ago, Cruiser died of old age. But today, and 100 years ago, Cruiser was identified by Groveport High School as their mascot because of that big horse in its courage. And John and Cruiser, 10 years ago, they put a statue on the town square of John and Cruiser, bigger than life, recognizing them. Their story continues. And as those folks cheered, Cruiser, 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 go Cruiser, John turned to the center of the field and took that top hat and raised it in the air. And the spirit of that big horse, legend has it, buried under the 50-yard line, raised up and turned and bowed and jumped and bowed and turned. And one more time, Cruiser and old John performed again into eternity.